Good evening, good evening everybody and um, welcome to Storytime with Warts and All. I'm Lindsay um, and I am here this evening to do a bedtime story. And this evening's bedtime story is called Daddy Long Legs. Um, and I've chosen this story specially because yesterday um, here in the UK it was Father's Day. And this story is all about a daddy. Um, and so I've chosen it because it was Father's Day yesterday and it's just a special story to share uh, with everybody, but especially if you've got your daddy there with you or your stepdad or your granddad or a carer or any amazing man that loves you or a wonderful woman that loves you too. Anybody that really loves you and is there with you. If you have got your daddy or somebody like that with you, this would be a good time to say, uh, excuse me, dad, you need to come and do a story with me because it's all about daddies. And see if they'll come and do a story with you. So Daddy Longlegs, this is our bedtime story this evening. And before we read our story, because it's a bedtime story and we're getting ready for bed, we're just going to make sure that we're all cosy and we've got somebody we love with us or a lovely teddy to snuggle or a blanket. And we're all lovely and snuggly. And what we're going to do is we're going to do our story and you're going to help me tell the story, I hope. Um, so off we go. Daddy long legs. Here we go. One morning, the old green car had a lot of trouble starting. It had the hiccups. Oh no. Shall we try starting our car? Vroom, vroom. Vroom, vroom. And what noise might it make if it doesn't start? Vroom, vroom, vroom. Oh no! At last it got going and Daddy drove Matty to nursery. There they are, driving to nursery. And we could drive to nursery, couldn't we? Vroom, vroom, vroom. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Beep, 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 beep. Vroom, 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 vroom. Daddy drove Matty to nursery. See you later, he said, giving Matty a big kiss goodbye. And if you've got somebody there with you, maybe they want to give you a big hug and a kiss and pretend to say goodbye. Mwah! Bye, love you. But Matty was worried. What does your face look like if it's worried? Oh, no, a worried face. Matty was worried. What if the car doesn't start again? He said, you won't be able to pick me up. Matty's dad thought for a bit. There he is thinking. Hmm. You had a thinking face. Hmm. Matty's dad thought for a bit. Then he said, if the car doesn't start, then I will borrow the neighbour's big red tractor and drive it over the fields to fetch you. Look at that big tractor. Shall we get in a big red tractor? Vroom, 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 vroom. Well done. But what if the big red tractor is too tired? Asked Matty. Then I will whistle to Martin, your lazy old teddy bear, his dad said. He will lift me up with his giant paws and carry me to you on his back. <gasps> Shall we whistle to Martin, the big giant teddy bear? <whistles> Can you whistle? <whistles> whistle to Martin. And Martin is going to come with his big giant paws and pick up Matty's daddy and carry him to nursery. <gasps> wow. If you've got a grown up there with you, Maybe your grown-up could pretend to be Martin, the big cuddly polar bear with their big arms, and pick you up and carry you to nursery. <laughs> Hope your grown-up's very strong. But what if Martin is fast asleep and doesn't hear you? asked Matty. <gasps> Shall we be Martin fast asleep? A big sleeping polar bear? <sighs> What if Martin is fast asleep? 
and doesn't hear you? asked Matty. Then I will go and round up all the birds in the garden, said his dad. They will take me by the arms and fly me to you. Shall we be the birds in the garden? Tweet, 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 tweet. And imagine there are birds under both your arms and they're flying you. <gasps> Whoosh! Amazing. <gasps> but what if the birds are too busy looking after their babies? Then I will call to the neighbour who waters his garden every day. He will turn up his hose and make a stream. And just like that, I will jump into your little boat and sail straight to you. Do you like playing with the hose and making lots of water? Shall we make a stream with our hose? And jump in a little boat and sail. We could row the boat, couldn't we? All the way to nursery. Well done. Wonder what Matty thinks about that plan. But what if the neighbour doesn't want to waste his water? asked Matty. Then I will find the two rabbits who live at the end of the garden, said his dad. I will put one under each foot and they will hop me to you. Are you good at being a bunny rabbit with big ears and boing, 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 hopping and bouncing? But what if the rabbits have gone to see their granny? Then I will call the big green dragon who breathes fire into the heater to keep us warm, said Matty's dad. And in two flaps of his wings and three big leaps, I will be right here with you. Do you think you could be a big dragon breathing fire? And we could do two flaps of his wings. One, two, and three big leaps. One, two, three, and a ride. Well done, everybody. But what if the big dragon is out hunting? said Matty in a small voice. Ah, said Matty's dad. Well, if the tractor is too tired and Martin is fast asleep and the birds are busy taking care of their babies and the neighbour doesn't want to waste water and the rabbits are with their granny and the big dragon is out hunting. Well then, I will simply take to my own two feet and run because my legs will never be too tired to come and get you. Should we do a big run? Running across the fields to get to nursery. Run, run, run. Well done. That's the end of our story. Lovely picture at the end. Thank you everybody for joining me for Daddy Long Legs this evening. Hope you enjoyed it and had fun being dragons and polar bears and tractors and doing all the amazing actions with me. Um, I am here on a Monday evening, one more Monday evening as part of the Warts and All Link programme at 630 doing a bedtime story um, and then Wednesday this week and next week um, 10 30 Wednesday morning for a story that's really active and bring it all to life with our bodies and faces um, and voices so I hope you will have a lovely sleep after our bedtime story and I hope to see you for another story soon bye good night